and welcome. Skiz is a 22-part story written by Alan Moore and illustrated by Jim Bakey. It was published between issues number 308 and 330 in the British magazine 2000 AD in 1983. The story of Skiz is easy to summarize, and it may sound somewhat familiar. Skiz, an alien interpreter from Tau Centi Imperium, crash lands on Earth. His sentient spaceship subsequently self-destructs to prevent the superior technology from falling into the hands of the primitive population of the planet. Skiz wanders into the city of Birmingham and hides in a shed. He is then discovered by the teenage girl Roxy, who takes him in and cares for him. Meanwhile, government agents hunt down Skiz. Eventually, they capture him, imprison him, and try to discern if he's an alien spy. Roxy and a group of friends break Skiz out of his prison, and they go on the run. While eluding capture, a rescue party from Skiz's world arrives, and they take him home. This is an odd addition to the Moore bibliography. Moore himself barely mentions it, and when it is mentioned, he seems to dismiss it in as few sentences as possible. This suggests he's not proud of the work, not because it's terribly written, but because it's clearly not a piece of work that was inspired, nor does it say anything significant. It's a simple tale, with some reasonably developed characters, and that's about it. This was Moore's first serial for 2000 AD. He had written quite a few time twisters and future shock stories, but a regular feature eluded him. Skiz was an idea editorial suggested to him as a limited but ongoing serial. In essence, they wanted to print a feature that was similar to the forthcoming movie E.T. Obviously, Moore hadn't seen the movie before writing the comic script. The movie itself hadn't been released, but odds are good he had at least seen the trailer. The approach to the story is different, and the major elements have been changed, but the overall plot beats are quite similar. Both are about a friendly alien stranded on Earth who is cared for by a young human and hounded by government forces. The elements are quite different, though. E.T. takes place in a quaint American suburb. Skiz is set in the working-class city of Birmingham. E.T. is befriended by a boy. Skiz is befriended by a teen girl. E.T. is accidentally abandoned on Earth. Skiz crashes on Earth. E.T. hibernates and is presumed dead. Skiz is captured and tortured. The government agents after E.T. are mostly harmless. The government agents after Skiz are ruthless. Regardless, on a basic level, the stories are functionally the same. Skiz was supposed to debut before the Steven Spielberg movie, but for some reason, a slot in the publishing schedule of 2000 AD couldn't be found until four months after the movie premiered. So, unfortunately, despite being started before the movie opened, Skiz debuted long after the movie had become a cultural phenomenon. The interesting thing about Skiz is it starts as a whimsical satire, but after a few episodes, its tone shifts and becomes more somber. It doesn't become a heavy drama, but it does noticeably appear to take itself more seriously. Furthermore, Alan Moore's writing style seems to change during this time. For the first few episodes, the plot is quite text-heavy, relying on captions to tell the story, which was likely a narrative necessity to get across Skiz's point of view. Early on, these captions almost disappear entirely, and the story becomes dialogue-driven. The captions are minimally used at the beginning of the episode, and then reappear at the end to bookend the chapter. This is something more consistently did, especially on Miracle Man and Swamp Thing. It's an interesting stylistic choice. It gives the chapter a feeling of closure to some degree. It creates an enclosed, circular narrative. The overall question one might ask about Skiz is, is it any good? Well, it's not bad, but it's not overly compelling either. It's rooted in British working-class culture, and it features the concerns of unemployed people during the early 80s. According to Moore, this element was inspired by The Boys from Black Stuff, a seven-episode series that ran on BBC, so it has a very specific tone and atmosphere. It's not entirely unrelatable to a modern audience, or an audience that isn't British, since being downtrodden and unemployed isn't strictly a British thing, but it may have been far more relevant during the time it was published, which isn't to suggest it isn't relevant to modern times, but there may be subtleties that are overlooked due to the passage of time and its very specific setting. Skiz is a character that's reasonably easy to empathize with. He's basically good-natured, even though he sees humans as violent primitives. In all fairness, he's exposed to a decent amount of violence, so it's no surprise his perspective is skewed. 
In contrast to Skiz's pleasant nature, the antagonist, Van Owen, is cartoonishly evil. As the lead government agent, he clearly represents Moore's disdain concerning the administration ruling England at that time, which is something he would explore in greater depth within V for Vendetta. Van Owen speaks with an indistinct accent, and he is convinced that Skiz is an agent of evil, despite there being no evidence to support this position. As a character, he is a basic straw man. His development as a character, or any insight into his personality, is functionally non-existent. Skiz, the series, did continue on past Moore's involvement. In future installments, the artist, Jim Bakey, would also take on the scripting chores. He would explore Skiz's culture and alien environment, and, basically, flesh out some areas left untouched by the original story. In the end, with the benefit of hindsight, Skiz seems to be a transitory period for Moore. It appears to be a point where Moore was putting aside his satirical or humorous tendencies, which were prevalent in his earlier work, and he focused more on conflict and character drama. If anything, Skiz proves Moore was capable of writing more commercial and more serious material. Even though he may not have been passionate about the story, he did approach it on a professional level. That's it for today. Like, share, subscribe, and comment, and I will talk at you later. Until next time.